Hi there. Now, already in part B, we had to show that 2r plus 1 all cubed minus 2r minus 1 all cubed equals 24r squared plus 2. Now, for part C, it says using the result in part B and the method of differences, we've got to show that the sum of r squared, r going from 1 to n, is equal to 1 sixth n multiplied by n plus 1 multiplied by 2n plus 1. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now to do this, using this result from part B, I'm looking to find out where we've got r squared. And I can see that r squared is here. So what I'm going to do is rearrange this formula to make r squared the subject. So if we start by doing that, then r squared is going to equal, well, we've got all of this here on the left. So we've got 2r plus 1 all cubed minus 2r minus 1 all cubed. And then if I subtract 2 from both sides, that's going to give me 24r squared. And then if I divide this all by 24, then I've got r squared equal to this. And I'm going to use this now in place of the r squared we've got here. So therefore, what we've got is the sum of, let's just put sigma, OK, the sum of r squared going from r equaling 1 to n is going to be equal to, well, I'm going to write this as 1 24th. Being a constant, I can just pull this out in front of the summation. And then I'm going to look at substituting values of r going from 1 all the way up to n into the top half of this fraction. So let's just put a bracket down here, OK? Now, when r equals 1, the first term here is going to be 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. 3 cubed, OK? So we've got 3 cubed. And then we've got minus, and when r is 1 here, we're just going to get 1 cubed. So minus 1 cubed. And then we've got minus 2. Now to this, we're going to add what we get when r equals 2. So when we put 2 into this first bracket here, we end up with 5 cubed. So put plus 5 cubed. And then in this bracket, we end up, when r equals 2, with minus 3 cubed. And I can start to sense that we're going to get a pattern here. We've got minus 2. I can see that this 3 cubed is going to cancel out with this minus 3 cubed here. But we'll take it for another value of r, when r equals 3. So when r equals 3, this comes to 7 cubed. So we've got plus 7 cubed. And then we end up subtracting, when r equals 3, 5 cubed. So we've got minus 5 cubed. So yes, you can see that this does start to form a pattern. So I can see that this term then cancels out with this term here. We've got the 5 cubed cancelling out with the minus 5 cubed there. And so this 7 cubed is going to get cancelled out with the term that's down here. And this is going to carry on all the way down through here. Now, let's just pick it up when r equals n minus 1. So when r equals n minus 1, we're going to have two lots of n minus 1 plus 1 all cubed for that first part there. So I'll put that in square brackets there. There's two lots of n minus 1 plus 1, and that is all cubed. And then for this term here, it'll be two lots of n minus 1, then minus 1 all cubed. So we've got minus, and again in square brackets, two lots of n minus 1 minus the 1, and that is all cubed. And then we've got the minus 2 on the end.
Let's do it for when r equals n now. So when r equals n, we're just going to have 2n plus 1 all cubed minus 2n minus 1 all cubed minus 2. So we'll put that in as 2n plus 1 all cubed minus then 2n minus 1 all cubed and then the minus 2. Okay, now we've seen that we get this cancelling process coming through like so. So this term then gets cancelled with the term here and then all our terms are going to be cancelled out. When it comes to this term here, this is going to get cancelled out with this term up here, both exactly the same. This term here is going to get cancelled out with the term that was just up here. What we're left with is minus 1 all cubed and then n lots of minus 2 and this term here. So let's just finish this bracket off here, okay? So we've got that coming down like so. And what we've got then is the 1 24th and we've got minus 1 all cubed which is going to be minus 1. We've got the minus 2 repeated n times so that's going to be minus 2n and then we've got this term here plus all of 2n plus 1 all cubed. So it's just a question of simplifying this now and hopefully heading towards this answer here. So tidying this up then, let's just say then we've got sigma, okay, r squared, going from r equals 1 to n again, okay, and it equals 1 24th, 1 24th then, and what we've got now is 2n plus 1 all cubed, 2n plus 1 all cubed, and then minus 2n minus 1. I'll just write it the other way around. Minus 2n minus 1. Not that you have to, okay? Just thought it might look better there. Now, 2n plus 1 all cubed was what we had to do in the very first part of the question to expand this. So let us just copy that back in, or you could work it out again. It came to 8n cubed plus 12n squared plus 6n plus 1. And then we've got minus 2n minus 1. So what do we get now if we simplify this? Well, we've got the 1 24th still out the front. And then we've got 8n cubed and then plus 12n squared and then 6n minus 2n, well that's going to be 4n, and then the 1's cancel. I can pull out n now as a common factor. And not only that, I can see that 4 is a common factor. So we're going to have 4n out the front over that 24. So pulling out 4n now gives us 2n squared plus 3n plus 1. And the 4 cancels into the 24, giving us 1 sixth. So we've got 1 sixth n. And then when it comes to factorizing this quadratic, it factorizes to n plus 1 multiplied by 2n plus 1. And that's what we had to show.